everyone, welcome to this point class. We are going to do a little warm up and then a little bit of point work here. Uh, we will get started. Um, if you don't have your shoes on, that's totally okay. We're gonna warm up our feet first, but then we're gonna get started after that. Let's get started here on Instagram as well. Hey everyone, welcome. We're gonna do a little bit of point work together today. That was a big request from you guys online is to do a little bit of point work. So let's warm up our feet a little bit. We'll warm up our legs and then we'll get started with some point work. This is gonna go about 45 minutes. So we'll have a little bit of time to warm up our feet first and then a little bit of point work. So you can see I'm not on an amazing floor. In my house, they don't have too much, uh, too much fancy stuff. Um, so it's gonna be a, a point class that's um, uh, pretty basic, really designed for if you've got a home environment just like mine, where you've got a step ladder for a bar, some dogs here, and carpet. So let's get started. We're gonna do a couple of my favorite little foot warm ups, and then we'll go from there. So let's start with our feet just straight out in front of us, and we're gonna do a couple of little ankle circles to start. I don't know about you, but my feet are real creaky today. Ankle circles, let's do the other side. Good, now we're gonna write the alphabet with our foot. So we're gonna write A, B, C, D. Try to get all the corners of that foot. H, I, you can write in all caps if you want. I tend to write lowercase. Some people like cursive. If I wasn't talking, my tongue would definitely be sticking out to help. It always is, especially with such detailed footwork. R, S. Hi, everyone just joining. We're just warming up our ankles. We're writing the alphabet with our feet. We're gonna get our point shoes on in just a few minutes here to do some point work. But first, we're just gonna warm up our feet. If you're not on point yet, you're welcome to still do all of this stuff without your point shoes on. It's still a lot of work and a lot of fun. All right, how, tell me in the comments what, what your home environment is like so I can kind of structure it. Obviously, as you can see, the home environment I have is not amazing. I have a step ladder for a bar. I have carpet, but hey, we, we do what we can. And I think it's better to put the shoes on for a little while than not, even if it's not the most ideal of situations. We're still getting some strengthening in. We're gonna get some fun little workouts here with our point shoes on. I'm on W. Ooh, left foot is crunchy. Z, A, Z, let's get that Z left foot. There we go, there's that Z. All right. Let me just move this up a smidge. All right. So let's stand up and warm up just a little bit here. So we're gonna stand in a parallel. We're gonna go plie, stretch, plie, stretch, plie, plie. Hey everyone just joining, great to see you on here. We're just doing a little point warm up, then we're gonna do a little bit of point work after that. Just getting our ankles and our feet going a little bit, then we'll do some point work. And this will be on YouTube after, it'll be on my Instagram story for 24 hours if you miss it or don't have your point shoes handy. Let's do some plie releve. So plie releve, plie releve, and up. Up, keep going, just a handful more here. If you haven't already, make sure you go to our website slash swan to learn our four little swans challenge that's going on right now. I have done an awesome version of the little four swans from Swan Lake that stays in one place in your house. We're taking video submissions of you doing it so we can make little uh, groups of four to publish online and share out our little worldwide dances together. So make sure you go to brocheballet.com slash swan uh, to check that out. Let's do a couple more here in first position. Warm up our turnout muscles a little bit. Then we'll hit a couple of ground pliés in second and then we'll get those point shoes on. Keep going, finding these plié relevés. 
Get those feet nice and warm. Five more. All right, shake out those feet. One of my greenhouses is just out of view here. I bet if I turn the view, you can see my wonderful greyhound sleeping over there. She is sleeping right there, helping us with our point work. I mean, not really helping, moral support more, more so. Um, awesome, Roseanne, awesome. Grab your shoes, get your feet warmed up. Um, we just did some alphabets. We just did a bunch of releve, so make sure you do that on your own if you're at home and you missed the beginning. Let's do a couple of grand plies in second. So we'll take a nice wide second. Let's warm up those rotators a little bit. Open up the hips. Grand plie and back up. Grand plie. Hi everyone, just joining. We're just doing a little warm up. Then we're gonna get a point shoes on and do a little bit of point work. As you guys can see, my environment is not amazing for point. We've got a step ladder for a bar. We've got some carpeting going on. So it's gonna be a simple uh, strengthening day to really just get your shoes on, get your feet warmed up do some nice um, exercises to build some stamina here. Let's do one more of these. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good after not moving around too much today. All right, so let's get our shoes on. While we get our shoes on, feel free to talk to me in the comments. Let me know how your day is going, what's going on in your world. Can't believe it's already Thursday. I don't know about for you guys, but the time is flying by. So while I put my shoes on, I use a spacer between my big toe and my second toe. In case you're curious, I use a uh, rather thick toe pad. If I'm not wearing tights, then I like to wear one of these little footy socks. They go under like flats, like, you know, regular shoes. I think I got them from like Nordstrom years and years and years ago. One person, it's 8 p.m. where Gina lives. Awesome. It's, it's nighttime over there. It's almost my bedtime at 8.20, 8 o'clock p.m. So I get that toe spacer here. It's really, it's not that sunny here. It's just that it snowed today. And so when it snows, the light is very bright. Um, it's 6, it's 6 20 p.m. here. So it's not that it's that early. It's just that the snow makes it super bright outside. I'm right by the window, and so I think that's what's going on. So yeah, it's not that early. It kind of looks like it's daytime though, doesn't it, from the light that's coming in the window here. So let's get these shoes on. All right. If you have fun with this point class, we also do have point classes at our studio online again at brochebrally.com. We've got all our online schedule up there. You can come take point class with us. We've got a few classes per week. Um, kind of they'll be similar to what, we, what we're gonna do here today. Really just building strength and stamina. They're super fun. Um, on Zoom, we you know, have everyone put the camera down by their feet so we can really watch the feet and monitor the alignment and all of that going on. Um, you know, we know not everyone has great flooring, obviously, as I don't hear, so you know, it's modified for your home environment. Um, a lot of people hold on counters and all kinds of stuff. So if you're on point, you want to get your shoes on, you can also join us there as well. So got one shoe on. How are you guys doing at home? Are you guys beating me? You already had your shoes on? I, I think that the only place, so I started ballet when I was 17, so I didn't start super young. Um, I did do when I was in my early 20s, I did an audition for a bunch of summer intensives, the ones that would still take people who are who are my age. Um, and uh, when I did, that's that's when I learned how to put my point shoes on faster, um, because you know they finish the bar, and then of course right away to center, uh, you got you got to get those point shoes on right away. It was very intense. It's like before you even knew it, they were having you know having you do fuetes in the center. I was like, yikes, jeez, gotta get moving. That was my first foray into really having to get those shoes on super fast. Gina says that she's beating me. She's putting her shoes on faster. I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a little lax over here. You guys are 
if you're watching this recorded afterwards, you're welcome to hit fast forward through this part. You beat me to putting your shoes on. All right, I think we're good to go over here. Hope you've got your shoes on at home as well. See how they feel. Awesome. Oof. They feel a little stiff after a short warm up. All right, we're going to start with some prances here, then we'll go on to some strengthening. So just get the foot warmed up. So let's start in a parallel position. We're going to do 16 little prances that go one foot, then the other foot. The 17th one is going to be a little stretch. If you want to bring that foot back closer, you can. Then the other side. Then we'll crisscross. Crisscross from the front, front view looks like this. Never want to be on that pinky. You always want to have your foot aligned there when you're stretching. You also don't want it to be like way out here in some crazy wonky stretch. You want it to be pretty well lined up when you're doing that stretching. Then the other side crisscross. Then we'll come back to parallel. We'll do two releves that take four counts up, four counts down. And then we'll do four that take two counts up, two counts down. Then we'll demi plie, demi plie, demi plie, demi plie. Then we'll rise up one more time. Maybe try a balance here, maybe not. See how that feels. And then we come down and finish. All right, I'm going to put on some music. I'll talk you through it. And then we'll go for it. All right. My greyhound Tina has joined us. Hi, Tina. Can I say hi, Tina? Hmm? Okay. All right, here we go. Starting in parallel. Five, six, seven, eight. Prancing one, the other. Three, four, five, six. We're halfway there. Seven, eight, eight more. One, two, three. One more to stretch. Stretching that foot. The A if you'd like. Hold for four more. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch other side. One, two, four. Keep holding. Plie if you'd like. Five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Plie that back foot from the front view. Other side. Four more counts. Five, six, seven. Both feet flat. Four counts up. One, two, three, four. Four counts down. Slow. Articulate those shoes. Seven, eight. One more that speed. Two. Highest demi possible. Rolling back through, six, seven, two counts up, one, two, three, four, four like that, two, three, four, two more, last one, good, now we're going to plie. straight long behind the legs. Maybe trying to find a balance here. Lifting the body tall. Engaging the toes. Feeling the toes pressing against the bottom of the shoes. Good. Rolling back down. Plie. And finish. Good. All right. I saw a comment pop up on YouTube. Let me check that. 
1 a.m., 2.30 a.m. for you guys over here on YouTube. Oh my goodness, you guys are up so late. Do your point shoes on at one o'clock in the morning? That seems like late for point shoes. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks for joining me even in the middle of the night. That's great. I hope you get some sleep after this. Um, let's go uh, one more slow combo here, then we'll get moving a little quicker. So we're gonna go in first position. Um, you can hold on with two hands if you want. I'm gonna show you with one hand just to demo it so you can see what I'm doing. And then when we actually go to do the combo, I'm gonna hold on with two hands. So with one hand, we're gonna go rolling up nice and slow. Uh, actually, I wanna start this one in parallel. Yeah, I wanna start this one in parallel. So rolling it nice and slow, two counts up, two counts down. We're gonna do that eight times. Then we're gonna go one count up, one count down eight times. Then we're gonna open to first. Then we're gonna go plie, relevé, plie, relevé, plie, relevé, half toe, and up. We're gonna try to get as high of a demi as possible. Try not to drop down into a demi. Try to really feel the feet articulating there and then press back up. Plie, four sets like this, plie, relevé, plie, relevé, and half, and up. So four sets like that, and then we'll keep going there at the end. Let's move this a little bit so you guys on Instagram can see me a smidge better. Um, so let's do that and facing the bar. So going up nice and slow, eight in two counts, eight in one count, step to first, then plie, relevé, plie, relevé, plie, relevé, and half and up, four sets like that. Then we'll stay here in first and balance. Come down and finish. All right, let's give it a try. Hello, everyone just joining, awesome. I think that's too fast for this. Let's go a smidge slower than that. All right, let's go with this one. All right, here we go. Five, six, seven, slow up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try to have the feet arrive at the exact same time. Don't let it be one than the other. We've got four more like this. Double time, one count up, one count down. Still thinking lift, don't push. Lift, lift, and lift. Using the toes to press down on the way up, press down with the toes. Two more, press down, come down. Step first, plie, relevé, plie, relevé, plie, relevé, half toe, and up, plie, relevé. Plie, relevé, the music's gonna end, but we'll keep going, and half, and up. Two more sets, and up, plie, and up, plie, and up, and half, and up. Last set, plie, up, plie, up, plie, up, and half, and up. Good, stay up, try to find a balance, work the rotators of the legs, back to the legs coming through the front, Maybe finding a balance. Come down and finish. Good. Oof. Are your feet on fire? My feet are on fire. That was a long one. All right. Live chat. Someone I miss. Hello, hello on YouTube. Great to see you. Welcome. Grab some water if you haven't already yet. Um, let's see, is it going to be saved? So it's going to be on my Instagram story for 24 hours and then head over to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Roche Ballet, and it'll be there as well because I'm also casting it on YouTube right now as well. So if you don't have your point shoes handy, but you want to do it later, you can do that. Also, we do have live and pre-recorded classes at Roche Ballet, brocheballet.com. We do uh, lots of classes every single day as well as have live pre-recorded ones available as well. 
Um, let's keep going with a little quicker of a releve challenge. Um, so let's do... Okay, so a little quicker. We're going to do plie releve, then two straight leg lower lift. So it's going to go one, two, and three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four. Keep going, and up, and up, and up. Yeah? So we're going to do several sets like that. Um, we're going to do a bunch there. So, and up, and up. Plie, releve, lower lift, lower lift. Plie, releve, Lower lift, lower lift, please. Yeah, so we're gonna do, we're gonna try for eight sets. It's gonna be a lot, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try for it. Yeah, if you take a, if you miss the fifth set because you need a break, that's all right, but do your best to push through it. As long as it's not joint pain, if it's just muscle pain and you're tired or whatever, try to push through it and see if you can make it through all eight sets. All right, let's do it. I'll be right there along with you. All right. Here we go. Starting in first. Five, six, seven, eight. Plie, releve, lower lift, lower lift. Plie, releve, lower lift, lower lift. Heels forward, heels. And lift, and up, and up. Heels forward, and up, up. Heels forward, plie, and lift, up, and up. Heels forward, knees back, up and up, plie and up, up. Last one, plie, up and up and up. Come down and finish. Good, awesome. All right. I'm going to do just a little tendu combination here to work the feet. So one thing that I really like to talk about, especially with my adult dancers is the articulation of the foot. So one thing that I, when I first started point, I swore that the people on stage had different shoes than I had because their shoes bent, right? Their shoes look like hands and my shoes look like a brick, right? What the heck was that about? So it took me a really long time to figure that out. But now I love the articulation of the foot. So what I want you to do is sit anywhere. You don't have to hold your leg quite as awkwardly as I am right now. Um, I'm trying to keep it in your view frame here. So I want you to think about pointing your ankle, pointing your toes. I want you to think about feeling the sensation of your toes in your shoes. I want you to feel like your toes are trying to touch the bottom of your box here. Try to have them long and flat in there and pressing down. Then peel your toes back so that you're just manipulating the box, but not the point of your arch. So your arch is pointed, but your toes are flexed and then point. Feel the sensation of the toes pressing into the bottom of the box. You should feel the pads of your toes trying to reach the bottom there, under here. So we're pointing and pressing, and then release, pull the toes back, but keep the arch pointed. Let's do 10 of those. 10, nine, eight, point and up, six, five, four, point those toes. Three, I call this, we call this shaping the shoe. Shape that shoe. Last one, hold and release. Good, let's do the other side. So we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna think about pointing the foot, point these shoes. You can see my left foot doesn't point as much as my right foot. We've all got the one foot that's stronger than the other. So feeling the toes pressing under the bottom of the box, feeling them pressing down, and then toes peel up, but the ankle stays pointed. We don't flex the whole foot. We want to make this toe box move independently of the foot. Let's go for 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Shape that shoe. 4, 3, 2, Last one, hold, point that foot, shake that shoe, feel the toes pressing on the bottom of the box, and release. Point shoes are new, so they are soft. If you have soft, new point shoes, 
What kind of shoes do you wear that they're already soft when you, when you get them? All right, so when we do a tendu combination in our point shoes, we want to try to match that amount of articulation in the shoes. So you, want, you don't want your whole foot to come out and back in in one piece. You want to really feel that you've created a shape of your foot on the way out and the way in. So we're going to do this in four, like a four part point here. I'm just going to grab a charger real fast because my phone is dying as it does when you're on, when you're on Zoom all day and you forget to charge your phone. Then it's dead by the end of the day. You guys uh, you know what I'm talking about? So I'm just going to charge it real fast here before we keep going. We're doing this tendu combination. We're going to really work on the articulation of the feet and working on the articulation of the shoe. It's not even just about the foot. It's about the articulation of the whole shoe so that your foot and your shoe look like they're one piece and they look like hands. All right. Hopefully I didn't lose you all when I went for that charger. Sorry about that brief interlude, but hopefully your feet got a moment to rest after all that articulation of the feet. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do here, we're gonna go, I'm gonna do this um, F O S H U, so you can see this front foot. So we're gonna go um, half toe. So that's like what we were doing on the ground, or on the floor, right? We were doing this articulation. We're doing this half toe and point and half and point. And this is with your toe muscle, this is not with your body weight pushing on your toe. It's very different. This is with your toe muscles manipulating the box. So our toes are creating this motion, not our body weight pressing down on the box. Yeah, so we're gonna go slow with the music. We're gonna go half and full, half and full, half and full, half and close. We're gonna do that four times. Then we're gonna squish the other foot and do that foot four times, yeah? Okay, it's gonna be super, super slow. Lots of time to articulate the feet. Then we'll get back up on our point shoes after this. Six, seven, and eight. Starting with the half. Half, and point, and half, and point, half, and point. This one closes. Three more sets. Half and point and half and point and half point and half. This one closes. Two more sets. Half and point. Half point. Good. Half. Last one on this foot, half and point and half. Same thing we were just practicing. Feel the toes on the bottom of the shoe. Good. Let it step other side. Half and point and half and point and half and point. This one closes. Shake those toes. Manipulate the box. Half. Point. Half. And close. Good. Half. Really make sure that, that box is moving. The shoe is separating into pieces. Half. And point. And half. And close. One more set. And point. This one closes. Finish. Good. Shake out those legs. Shake out those feet. Awesome. All right. So we're going to use this amount of articulation. We're up on point as well. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how that's going to work, especially in a susu. So as we're up in, as we're up on a susu, there's a couple of different ways you can do a susu. You can do a susu that scoops underneath you where both feet come together. If you're not on an, on an amazing floor, I don't want you to do that. 
I would rather do the Su Su where you elevate up to the back leg and place the front foot across and then come back down. The other awesome benefit is this is that we get to work the articulation. So when we're coming out of a Su Su, we will roll off the back foot and arrive in an articulated position and then roll down. We're not going to come here and then plant flat footed. We're going to come out and go come through your high demi as you roll through so that you get this shape of the articulated shoe on the way down and it's not either up or down in the middle. You want that intermediary state. That's what gives the shoes the fluidity of them and the look of sort of, of being like malleable, which we want them to look like. They don't feel malleable, but we want them to appear that way. And we're going to use our muscles. So we're going to go plie, su, su, plie, su, su, plie, su, su, plie, su, su. We're going to do eight of these. Then we're going to stay up after the eighth one. Balance if you want. Then we're going to come down and we're going to peel this front foot off the ground. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see this peel down. So as I bring the foot down, I'm going to articulate it on the way down as well. Then I'm ready for the other side, which is going to su su across the other way. Plie, su su. And again, still arriving in that articulated position. Eight like that, we balance, we come down, and then we slurp that foot. Yeah, not here to here. We're going to really articulate the shoe as we scoop up and in to come through there, to come through that coupe there. All right. Oh, that shoe is tight back there. Ouch. Okay. So let's give this a try. We've got our eight susu, our balance, and then um, we have our coupe over. Hi, Christy. Oh, it's awesome to see you. Hello. All right, so we're doing those susu. We've got a bunch. We've got just about a bunch. That's about as many as we're doing. Oops, that's too slow. I think I wanted a fondue. Okay, let's try that speed. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and eight. Plie, su su. Articulate. Plie, su su. Plie, su su. Plie, su su. Stays up, hold. We're gonna find a little balance here. Good, come down. today or my combos are too long either way combos are never too long there's always more stamina to be built all right we've got just about 10 minutes left so we're gonna do um, a couple of releves uh, that are gonna take us up onto one leg so um, we're gonna do some susu lift to passe and then some that come all the way up to passe in one shot so that's gonna be so we're gonna go I'm going to show it this way, but you're welcome. I'm going to do it with two hands on the bar when we actually do it. So we're going to go plie, su, su, passe, and down. Plie, su, su, passe, and down. Plie, su, su, three, four, five. This is going to come all the way up, come down in the back, come down. Then repeat the other side. This side's awkward to go one hand, so hopefully you've got a good enough view on that one. And I'll go side here. Plie, su, su, plie, uh, sorry, plie, su, su, 
and passe, come down. Plie, su, su, and passe, come down. Plie, su, su, and passe, come down. Then plie, and passe, up and over. Then we'll come down and we'll finish. Now if your flooring is not such that you can do a releve passe on one leg, or if you haven't done one of those yet, just do the same thing four times, just on the last one, close in the back so you can try the other side. Um, let's do it. So forget all the articulation we just worked on. Uh, we don't want to lose any of that just because we've complicated the combination. So we're still coming out of a susu, so I still want you to feel that high demi point as you come out of that susu. And do your roll through. All right, here we go. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. Plie, susu, and passe, and down. Plie, susu, passe, and down. Articulate, susu, passe, and down. All the way up. Close back. Plie, susu, passe, come down. Plie, susu, passe, come down. Plie, susu, passe, come down. Plie, and up. Closing in the back. Come down and finish. Good. All right. Hopefully you're starting to get pretty warmed up here. So we're going to do a couple more things to finish off here. We're going to do um, a little like bore in place kind of a thing. Just adjusting my charger. I see it didn't actually start charging. There we go. So we're going to do like a bore in place kind of a thing to get your legs moving. Then we're going to finish off with a really tricky little tendu slash releve fun little combo. So let's start with the uh, bore in place. So we're gonna go plie, su su, bore, 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 hold there, then coupe, passe, down the back of the leg, plie, su su, and then little bores, and then hold, pick it up and over, and come down and finish. Super simple, we're gonna do that twice through here. So if you're on a weird floor like I am, one thing I've really, really, really learned how to do is lift up super tall because the floor isn't as stable here at home than it is at the studio. And if you are on wood flooring, you've probably learned that it's super painful on your toes. So the more we lift in the upper body, the better it's gonna be. So we're gonna lift up super, super tall. We're gonna feel the hips lifting high, belly button to the back of your shoulder blades so you can feel your belly button kind of connecting up and diagonally to this place in your spine. So you really lift your body up super tall to work with the surfaces that you have at home. All right, here we go. Five, six, seven, su su, eight, four, eight, lift tall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold, coupe, passe, down the back of the leg, plie, susu, bore, two, three, four, five, six, seven, lifting tall, coupe, passe, and down the leg, come down, good, let's finish there, nice. Nice job. Good. All right. So we're going to finish off with a little tendu slash releve thing here that's just super fun. So let me change my music over and make sure it's the one I wanted. All right. So it's going to go like this. Side to us. Uh, so tendu side and side up down up down and side and side up down up down and one up down and one up down and one up down hold 
hold, other side. And one, and two, up, down, up, down. And one, and two, up, down, up, down. And one, up, down, and one, up, down, and one, up, down, hold, hold. Yeah? Um, obviously all those foot lifts were relevies. Let's give it a try. It's all accent in and down, so it's gonna go and in and in and down and down and in and in and down and down and in and in up down up down and in and in up down up down. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. The singles get pretty quick, so get ready for some speed. The more you lift, the better your life will be here. Yeah, so hang on tight, hang on to your, your hats, and let's do it. Okay, just restarting that music. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and close, and close, up, down, up, down, side, close, and close, up, down, up, down, and one, up, down, and two, up, down, third one, then we hold, 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 left, one, two, up, down, up, down, and one, two, up, down, up, down, and one, up, down, and two, up, down, and three, up, down, hold, hold, good, finish, nice, shake out those legs, all right, nice job, dancers. I hope you had fun with me today in point class. Um, this will be again on the Instagram for 20, on the Instagram story for 24 hours, and then it'll be on YouTube after that. So go on over to uh, Broche Ballet um, YouTube channel, youtubecom slash Ballet. Head over to our website brocheballetonline.com to check out our whole online offering. We've got both live and pre-recorded classes every day: point classes, ballet classes stretch classes, technique lectures, you name it. We've got lots of classes, all just for adults. So if you had fun with me today, consider checking us out and uh, hope to see you again. Good, I'm glad you loved that class. I hope to see you guys again very soon on Instagram Live, on Zoom class, on the comments. Send me your smiles. It's awesome to see you all today and take care.